In this video, we will go over some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Philips Lumify system. First, let's explore how to help you maximize your mobile device's battery life. The first thing you can do is go into the Lumify settings menu and ensure power saving mode is activated. It should already be on, but it's worth taking a look. This will lower the frame rate when the system is not scanning and will help maximize your mobile device's battery life. You can put your device into airplane mode when you're not using the internet. And finally, you can turn off your location settings on your tablet. You will find this option in your device settings. This will deactivate the GPS within your system. To get the brightest colors and the clearest images on your device, adjust the brightness of your display all the way up. Another thing that might be helpful is knowing how to determine whether or not you're connected to the internet. It is common for public internet providers like hotels, airports, or convention centers to require that you accept their terms and conditions before connecting to their internet environment. And if you connect to the Wi-Fi but don't accept the terms and conditions, you will not be connected to the internet. Each device is different, but on this Android tablet, for instance, I can open up the menu and long press on the Wi-Fi indicator and this will bring up my connections menu automatically. The Wi-Fi signal that I'm connected to will give me a little indication saying whether I'm connected to the internet or not. It's important to understand that you can be connected to a Wi-Fi signal and not have an internet connection. In the unlikely event you experience some sort of transducer connection issue, this next tip will help you figure out if there is a problem with the cable, the tablet, or the transducer. To determine if it's the connector on your tablet, get your tablet's charging cable, plug it into your device, and then plug the device into your PC. You may need to give permission on your tablet to allow the computer to have data access, and you may need to switch the USB connection type on your tablet from charge only to data transfer. If the tablet now becomes visible like a USB device that you can open and see the files within, then you know that your tablet connection, your data connection on your tablet, is working properly. If that doesn't show up, then there may be an issue with your tablet connector. It may have been damaged. If you want to check whether or not you might be encountering a transducer connection problem because of a damaged cable, you can detach the cable from your transducer and then plug in a micro B USB to USB A cable. The micro B USB will go into the transducer and then the USB A side of the cable will plug into your PC. If the transducer shows up in your document explorer, then you know that your transducer is running properly. These two tests together can help you pinpoint the issue. If your transducer shows up on your computer and your tablet shows up on your computer, then you may have a transducer cable problem. In this case, just call your Philips service representative to get a new transducer cable. If the transducer connects but your tablet does not show up on your computer, then your tablet connector may be damaged. In this case, you will need to replace your tablet. It's very rarely the case that there is a transducer problem. While some of these tips may be helpful in some cases, never hesitate to get in touch with Philips Service if you have any questions or concerns regarding your Philips Lumify system.